Hey guys, so the first step to create this really scary unsipped sip makeup, you need to use a primer obviously to prime the face and to make sure that the makeup will last all night. And then I'm just using this zipper and then I'm just drawing in where I want this zipper to be. So I'm just making a guideline for myself. In that way I know exactly where I'm going to glue on this zipper. Then I'm taking some liquid adhesive or some spirit gum and then I'm using that to glue on this zipper onto my face. And as you can see I'm putting it all the way up to my hairline and then I'm securing it and just holding it there for some seconds like 60 to 90 seconds just to make sure that it really glues down to my face and then I'm just following the lines that I created on my face gum does dry in fairly quickly but be patient okay better be safe than sorry so take some extra time just to make sure that it's all secured down to your face and once that's on I'm taking some liquid latex just cutting a hole into the liquid latex and then putting it onto my face firstly I used a uh, q-tip but I just found out it was way too messy because the liquid latex totally messed up the q-tip so in the end I'm using a brush just a cheap brush because it does ruin the brush completely the liquid latex but just be patient and then build up some layers with the liquid latex because later on we're going to uh, create some holes and so on so just build up build up build up this takes a lot of time and a lot of effort but it is so worth it and then I use some pieces of greaseproof um, paper and then I'm using that to create more layers onto my skin and it will look more crumbly and just grows on the skin really and then once again I'm using the liquid latex just to create some layers and I'm also folding it around and crumbling up the um, paper just to make it even more like crumbly on the skin it looks really gross and while the latex is setting and just drying on the skin I'm using some more spirit gum and then I'm just making sure that this zipper just zips in down at my neck as you can see so yeah, just waiting for it all to dry. And then I'm using some foundation. This is just the MAC um, Studio Sculpt in the color NC15 because it's really, really pale, or at least on my skin, it's really pale. And then I'm just blending it into the latex and onto the rest of my face, as you can see, also on my eyes, and yeah. I'm just staying away from the center of my face where the zipper is because I'm going to put a red blood over there, so no need for that. Then I'm doing my brows just with the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and you don't have to be too neat with the brows. And now comes the fun part, the blood. I'm using some kind of like dry blood and then I'm just using a sponge to apply it. But I found out it was much quicker for me just to put it onto my skin and then blend it in. So that's what I did and as you can see it's a very thick and gross looking blood. So it really gives some texture. And just to make sure that you get all the way into the zipper area just to make sure that there's no gaps or anything like that. So just be very very neat and take time out to actually do this step because it's really important. And that's what creates all of the grossness. Then just take whatever matte black eyeshadow you've got and then put it onto your eyelids and under the eyes as well. It doesn't have to be any specific black eyeshadow, just whatever you've got that is matte and just intense. And then to make the latex area look a bit more like my own skin, I'm using this kind of like pinky toned um, concealer from MAC. And then I'm using some red eyeshadow or red blush actually from Bobbi Brown just to make it look a bit more sore and gross and as if I've just been sipping my face. It looks really really gross and just keep on building on it and use the red and the pinky tones. Now to make my skin look really rotten and gross, I'm using a tweezer just to pull out some of the liquid latex and as you can see it looks so freaking gross. And once again I'm just building up the latex and then I'm going to do exactly the same. So once again this is really time consuming but so worth it at the end. And I also decided to do kind of like a scar on my forehead so I just use some liquid latex up there as well. 
and then I'm using some black eyeshadow just to make sure that my skin looks a bit more rotten and a bit more I don't know, gross as if my blood has been like drying and it's dried blood and so on and I'm also going to use some liquid latex on my lips and then kind of like pull them together as you can see it looks so freaking gross so yeah but it gives such a nice effect and then I just quickly touched up with the eyeshadow on the eyelids And then once again, use a tweezer to pull out the liquid latex, so you create kind of like a hole and a scar and so on. And then I'm just using a black eyeliner in my inner waterline, as you can see. This look is all about being patient and just keep on working with the latex until you're satisfied and then I'm up there on my forehead I'm just using some fake blood once again just to make it look even more sore and red and gross and also on my cheeks as you can see in my mind it just looks much more realistic that way and then as you can see I'm also taking it down onto my neck area because it looks like that the blood is just dripping down onto my skin and it looks really gross and I really like this effect it looks so freaking cool and just using that blood once again And then I'm using the sculpting powder from MAC just to create a bit more definition into my face because I don't want it to look totally like one dimensional. And just adding some more blood and then I'm teasing my hair so it looks really crazy crazy crazy. And lastly I'm using some fake blood that is kind of like dripping down on my face as you can see. And that is the look complete guys. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and have the most amazing Halloween. Bye!